So it looks like um, a car ran into a parked cruiser, um, allegedly flipping it over, causing three officers to get injured. Now they're going to uh, different hospitals. So Boston MS is going to be taking um, police officers to different hospitals. Allegedly, this just happened like, um, wow, five minutes ago. Uh, car came down the hill at a high rate of speed. It ran to the back of the cruiser and um, flipped the cruiser over. Um, I'm not too sure of the injuries of the officers. Um, they're still being evaluated. Some of them are still being evaluated in the ambulance. One ambulance just took off. Uh, allegedly, the car came flying down here at a high rate of speed. Not too sure what happened, but somebody said he was flying down this road here. Not too sure how fast he was going, but he was going pretty fast, they said. Um, they said pretty fast. Some said 60, some said 70. Like I said, not too sure exactly what took place. Hey, how's it going? Hey, what's up there? Just gonna watch out for me? Oh yeah, I got you. So this is about as far as we can go, but um, let you the car was going at a high rate of speed. Not sure how fast they were going, but they were going pretty fast. Delta 441, this tiny knot right there. Yeah. Did they already take off in the No, they're not taking off this way. I don't know. Uh, you better grab him out of there. You, you, you're, in the, you're in the crime scene, man. So, I don't know if you guys can see this. There's a car that's flipped over in the middle of the street right here. They call the auto investigator to come out and take a look at this. Uh, take, a, take a walk on the other side so you guys can see. Um. He wants to speak to the lead officer. I'm not too sure what's going on there. Maybe he gets some information he wants to share with them. So there's a car in the middle of the road here, if you can see it. Um, I'm not too sure how fast this car was going, but it's going pretty fast, they say. So Boston EMS is they're still evaluating the police officers. Yes, sir. How's the board looking for calls? Uh, well, good. Just uh, when the loop departs, we're good though. Okay, good pop. Just let me know. Appreciate. Um, I don't know. The car was allegedly going at a high, high rate of speed. Fast enough that it couldn't stop, that it hit like five different cars, allegedly. You can see the damage to this car right here. See damage to the secondary car right there. Obviously, you got a car flipped over in the middle of the street. You got that car, then the cruiser's further down. Uh, it looked like about five cars were hit. Hey, what's happening? How many cars did he hit? How many cars did he hit? Oh, like directly, I only took one. One? Oh, okay. But like, that's... Oh, that's uh, secondary. Second, oh, okay. <laughs> secondary, okay. You said directly one, but secondary, like three or four. Uh, so this this is going to be a pretty uh, tense scene here. The auto investigators got to come out and do an investigation. They're going to have to wake him up. I, I think it's going to be the Bravo Delta 20, if I'm not mistaken. Did you see what happened? No, I just heard it. You heard about it? No, I mean, I live here, so I heard it. Can you guys make sure that the last time the thing happened over on, uh, you know, the last time yep. the stuff is not hanging? Oh, the absolutely. Guys clip nope, it. that's a pet peeve of mine. Yeah. I'll make sure. When it happens, you know. Absolutely. Like
you are Sergeant Gomes? Sergeant Gomes. Gomes. Kyle Gomes. Okay, thank you. You're one of the uh, local representatives in the uh, neighborhood. I'm the state rep. Right? State rep. I, I, I seen you before. Yeah. What's your name? Russell Holmes. Russell Holmes. Yeah, I did meet you before. You know who I am? No, I don't. Right Neza Porter. Neza? Porter. I, I see you at a couple of meetings. Sure, sure. Russell. Yep. Yeah. Come document what goes on in the city of Boston, good or bad. I, I put it out there. This car, I heard this car was going about 60 miles an hour down the street. I don't know if that's true or not. don't know. I just, I heard the accident when it turned over. That's all. I mean, it's loud enough that it woke me up and gotcha. walked out. It hit like four different cars. Well, it hit some officers who were in that car. Yeah, it hit that car, the two cars on the left, and I think another car in the front of that one. It is often that folks come around this corner way too fast. Yeah, they speed and... And they hit cars often. So yeah, that's not good. We gotta do something about that. We try. We put stop signs everywhere. They, not, they haven't considered putting speed bumps out? We have done that. Too. How you doing, sir? Good morning. Good morning, how are you, sir? So this is documentation that there is a lot of speeding in the city of Boston. But I mean, why do you need to speed at 4 o'clock in the morning? There's no need to be speeding four o'clock in the morning. Like, no, literally nobody else. I mean, that. if you speed, at least control your speed. You know what I mean? This is not. This is uncontrolled speed right here. There is literally no one else on the road at four o'clock. Drugs, Drugs involved. That that could be a possibility. <laughs> see, as soon as I hear the car hit, one of the guys was hiding something in his socks. Oh, he was. Charlie, nine oh four. Nine oh four. Sir, can you also sign the service card as a primary You live citizen? here, right? Sir, you live here, right? Uh, Charlie 415. This is going to be an all-day process now. they got to call the auto investigating team to, to, to detail this. Three officers. So far, we have three officers injured going to local hospitals, and I don't know where the individual who was driving the car went to. Did he get, is he in custody, or? I think they, they just said that they did escort him to, they didn't know where they were going. Yeah, I think they, he, I'm not sure he's arrested, though. He might not be arrested. He, yeah, it's, it's a possible he will be arrested. Um, uh, he will be cited for speeding for sure. It's definitely he was speeding about 60 miles an hour. So they're going to be canvassing the area for some video footage to, vi to validate. Well, you don't have to validate it, but to, you know, prove that he was speeding. You don't have to prove it, but it speaks for itself. There's no other way you can get that kind of impact unless you're going over 50 miles an hour. I guess we're gonna just keep an eye on this, uh, see what we can do. Um, we'll try to see if we can come up the other side or we give you a better view on the other side. Stand by, guys, and see what we can do for you. Um, always open is um, standing by. Uh, he may be waiting for a little while because I believe they have to pay the auto investigator to come out for this one. So um, he may be waiting for a little while. Boston EMS is standing by. Got channel. Is that channel seven? Who's the first? Who's the first on the scene today? Is it channel seven today? What's happening? Yeah. So, man on the spot. This is the man. You want to give yourself a plug right quick? Yeah. How's it going? Channel seven's out here. Seven. He's doing this. Doing this thing. Yeah. Car flipped over. Um, three officers taken to local hospitals. Um, Look like, feel like four cars were hit over there. Uh, other than that, we don't know too much what else is going on. So I can give you guys a better view. And give you guys a give you guys a sneak peek view real quick. Uh, this is probably the only view that you're gonna see on uh, external fears porter. So stand by. Uh, 
Calling me in just a moment. See, we calling you? See, that's the cruiser that got hit right there. Have you tried talking to the mayor and see what she's planning on doing about speed on this hill? Well, who's the local person? Yeah, the side, oh, they, they can't do nothing about that. The Boston police don't know nothing about speed, and trust me, you gotta get your city involved to do that. The mayor. I am the state rep. I think I understand. You're, you're the state rep? Yeah. Well, if you're the state rep, I got a lot. I got. I got a lot for you to get to handle in the city of Boston. So, so he said he can make stuff happen as a state rep. So I'm. Gonna, I'm gonna, can, can I use you as a contact person? Oh, he's ignoring me now. See that? Yeah, I'll get him out of here. I'm trying to get him out. <laughs> this guy, see, see, he, he, yeah, can, 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 if you're a state rep, can, can you do, can you please come out yeah, I will, but see, he's worrying about, he's worried about people in somebody's yard, he's not even worrying about, see how he changed the subject so quick, he's a state rep, but he don't care about, uh, straightening up the city of Boston, that's, that's politics for you right there, he thinks I would get out her yard, he, 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 so he's literally telling me, he called her on the phone, that's why, I, this stuff will normally get cut out, but I keep that going. So he literally called her, allegedly, he literally, I don't know, called her on the phone to say that I'm in her yard. Interesting. So, so, so since he's a state rep, let's see what he's, he's, he's capable of doing in the city of Boston. He said he's capable of handling things, so let's see what he can handle. So you said you was, let's get him out the phone first. Well, ask him for, can, I, can I talk to my constituent? Well, you're in public. Just so you know, you're in public. All right, I mean, what you're interested in me, that's all I'm saying. I know, but you're in public. Well, if you go, you go in your house and talk to that stuff, right? You want to, you want to communicate, communicate in the phone in your house. <laughs> Interesting how he, I don't know, people. He's a state rep and he acts that way. Interesting. So when he gets off the phone, I want to see how much stuff he wants to do and what he wants to accomplish in the city of Boston. Because you now we got to hold our state reps accountable for everything they say they're going to do. Don't say what you're gonna do, do it. And how you hold them accountable, you document what they say they're gonna do. I get a lot of politicians that say they wanna do stuff and they don't do anything at all. And they always come back and say, I never said that. So, stop being a politician, do the job. Now we're gonna to start, to, today's the season, the whole politician's accountable because we got a lot of politicians that really don't care about our community. They, they want your vote, but they don't care about your community. And he's a state rep and he can't get speed bumps in this street right here? He said he's a state rep and he can't get speed bumps in the street right here. So what, what kind of state rep is he? And he lives on this street. That, that's a shame. He, I would be ashamed to even say I live on the street as a state rep. There's people who organize speed bumps in their community a lot quicker than he has. I'm sorry, I'm trying to go on the other side and get a better view. Good seeing you, my man. Take a walk around the other side right quick, guys. The two tow trucks standing by over there. I'll catch you guys on the other side right quick.
what's up, man? The resistance is in the house. The resistance is in the house. What's up, baby? Yo, the resistance is in the house today, guys. I thought that was a joke. This I is... spoke a little louder just to get hey, you there. Hey, the Boston police is running to a call. Man? How you doing, man? You run into a call. Boston police are their best at a call. External affairs quarter, y'all. Right. Uh, shots fired. Boston. 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 Shots fired. We do. We, we do it. We pull our cameras out. We hold these police accountable. Exactly. For that's the what we do. Right? Right? Shots fired on Capeton Street. A multiple shots fired. Keep this for you. All EDTs are being responded to that one. But you good now. But you, hey, you want to tell me what happened? Though I, I won't put you on TV. Tell me what happened. Oh, that's oh, the police hit my car. They hit your car. Yeah, and they want to say I hit their car. Yeah, the so the driver was hurt. The driver was in that EMT and they want to act like I ran into them. They want to act like you ran into them? What, what car is yours? The Nissan, the flipped over car. So the car that flipped over is your car? Yeah. Oh man, how you do that? I didn't do that. I wasn't even driving. You wasn't driving. Okay. Everybody's okay though, right? Yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah, I wasn't here, so I don't... So was that... Okay. Was, was the cruiser moving or was it still still? I See, I don't know either. I'm trying to get the facts. I'm on a fact-finding mission. I don't... I, I, look, all I know is I look out my window and I see the cop in the middle of the street talking about, oh, fuck, oh, oh fuck. Funny, they Somebody hit some... So if you guys don't check out external fears Porter, check out the resistance on YouTube. I've been in touch with uh, the resistance for several years now. This man's been out there putting a lot of footage on the greater Boston area, talking about. What are you focus on? A police accountability. Uh -huh. a police accountability. You know, he's been out there doing this thing. He's got a major lawsuit against, uh, did I show his name? Scott, was that Scott Roby? No. <laughs> Wait, which one of them got a lawsuit? Let me hear Boston PD. Boston PD. And they did, I guess they did him wrong. Clearly it looks like they hit my shit, cause my car switched so over. Somebody in my chat said, it seemed like they was trying to come out out of where they were. She was coming exactly, down Exactly, that's what I was saying too. Me and you were saying the same damn thing, God. You fucking shitting me? <laughs> so, I don't know, man. I, I, you shitting me? I was going to fucking uh, we're gonna have Ballistic Day to uh, 99 Cape Street. 99 Cape Street, shots fired. Nobody struck so far. Uh, we have one casing recovered so far, too. Uh, let's give a pan around and see what they got around here, right quick. Boston Police been pretty busy throughout the, the whole week, actually. So it's, it's Saturday morning, and they're dealing with a whole lot of chaotic situation. I don't know, so um, they got to sort that out. Somebody said the car was speeding. She said she wasn't in the car. She said the cruiser hit the, her car, so I'm not too sure what happened. Everything is alleged at this point. Well, the best thing to do... They're going to put my car over. I can't wait till they put that bitch over, because I'm going to the insurance. Early in the morning, the, the fucking tow company... Yeah, I think all... Well, I'm not sure who's going to tow your car. I think always open is going to tow your car. The only the airbag that's bust is the jump side. Okay. Where's the driver at? He's in the house? No, she's at the house. They took her Oh, she was in a, oh, it was a female driver? Yeah. Wow. Happy 
haven't got a chance to see the Tyree Nichols video uh, yet. I went to bed earlier last oh, night. Yeah. Very horrific. Shout out and uh, rest in peace. Shout out to the family. My condolences to, to, uh, to the Nichols family. Uh, oh, and uh, really... rest in peace to Tyree Nichols. But, uh, as soon as I'm done with this live stream, I'm definitely going to go check it out. The video is about an hour long, I think. It is. I heard it's an hour long. I I seen bits bits and pieces of it. It doesn't look good for the for that police department at really? all. No. That's why they was so upfront, like they well, were. Well, yeah. Because, you know, they seen it first. They they literally like they tortured the guy basically. And, and what was it about? <laughs> well, they a uh, uh, motor vehicle stop. Yeah, yeah. They seen driving erratically, and that was a, that wasn't even. Pretty, that's not even, I mean, that's not something to arrest somebody, though. It all depends on how they do it. Well, what they're gonna do? They're gonna send out the accident the reconstruction team. They're gonna recreate this accident, and based on what they find, they make a decision on that. Uh, are you, how are you gonna recreate? How you want you recreate this accident? Well, what they do is they base. No, no, no. I'm talking about how would you? How would I do it? How would you? I, I would see a car flipped over. I would assume that car had greater speed than the car that it hit. Right, so what would you think? The car that flipped over hit that car? Or that, well, it that looks like it because it hit it in the back. You see how it was stuck in the back? All right, all right, so the cruiser is hit from the back wheel right there. It's not hit from the front. So if the cruiser hit the car, well, what if the they damage would be. What if they were pulling out without looking? Well, then. And that car was going how, out. How, how, Even with how, the greater how, amount of speed. How the greater amount of speed determine the car being flipped over? Like, how does the, the car being flipped over have to do with the, the speed? Because if she was speeding down the street, her car still not being flipped over. She'd still nah. be able to well, hit the stop sign and bust the turn. Instead of. Where, where, where was, was she coming from? She was coming straight up. Straight down? Straight down. So is, is, it, is there a stop sign up there? Straight down. The only way your car's flipping over is if somebody hits you. Now it, the question it, is, there a stop sign at, the, at that corner right there? Exactly, it's stop sign. So she hit who, the stop sign. Who, who hit the no, stop sign? No, not a stop sign at that corner. So they, they're going to look at all. Right. They're going to check and see if there's a stop sign. No, who has the, the stop the sign? The stop sign is all the way up. It's not at the corner. It's not there. The gotcha. No. Well, so they're going to. What I'm saying is, could they be at fault with coming out the parking spot without looking at? Were, were they in the parking spot? Yeah. Still keep the yeah. speed the way it was. Right. Right. Okay. Still, they could be at fault for not, you know, that's not necessarily true because well, the drivers will always see what's in front of them. Well, this is how the rule of thumb goes. If the front of your vehicle hits, a, hits the, any other vehicle, they can see you at fault because they say you have control of your vehicle at all times. Right, right. So the, the insurance company says any drivers must have a control of their vehicle at all times. Now, whether this car cut them off or not, they now, still are supposed to see that. Now, if you hit that car at the front, then now it's a 50-50 chance that both of y'all are at fault. Because right. both of y'all front hit each other. But because you hit the car at the back, that means that you hit the car at the back, you should have been able to slow down. Now, one of the reasons why I know that, because I have a lot of people gone to car accidents, anytime you hit the back of a car, they're going to say you're at fault. Now, the speed in the city of Boston is only 25 miles an hour. You, sh you should not be able to flip a car at 25 miles an hour. That, you know what I mean? No. I'm only playing devil's advocate. Speed going I mean, witnesses, hey, this is what it is. from what I was told, the car was going 60 miles an hour. This is independent from the Boston police. Oh, really? They said the car was going down the speed at 60 miles an hour. Oh, okay. Now, that other dude, Russell, the state rep, said the same thing. He lives on the street. So he said the same thing. So I, I'm only basing off what I heard. Right, that's right, not facts. Right, right, that's that's right. not facts at all. It's all speculation. But the car being flipped over almost verifies that it's going faster than it should have been going. Now, how fast it was going, we don't know. Is she hurt? She's quite alright, but I heard she got, she already had like a, um, a short dress of fishing type shit. So, I'm going to stop you. Yeah. But, like, be for real. Like, come on, who hit who? Like, I don't know, to be honest with you. You don't know. I don't know. I couldn't. Like I told you, get the ring camera. 
what you do is get all the footage you can get, all the camera footage you can get. Um, cell phone data, how fast, because the cell phone is going to tell how fast your car is going. Just so you know. We got a GPS um, in the car. Well, that, so that's going to take. the GPS is already connected to the phone, can I tell you how fast you're going before the collision impact? Most of them do. Most so, before the collision impact, it's already going to tell you how fast you're going. It don't even matter. Well, how fast I'm, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you what they were saying. Right? right? If, if they would have never hit her, if she coming down the street, uh -huh. she would have already hit the corner and bust the turn. She's only going to the end of the street right here. Over, uh -huh. Somebody gotta hit her for her car to flip over on the driver's side is what I'm saying. So tell me how that so tell me how you think it happened. So I'm thinking they had to be like following her. They probably had to be chasing her or if they was parked right here, but, they could have they could have thought she was a little bit up uh -huh. and hit her shit from the side, if you know what I'm saying. So you think that cruiser hit her from the side? She could have hit the I don't I don't I don't really know, no. but like Come on, like her car's on the driver's side flipped over. It, it's the driver's side. If I'm a, if I'm gonna hit you, uh -huh. I'm gonna hit you on the passenger side because you're closer to the passenger side. Mm -hmm. What? Well, apparently they were. Uh, right? say, no, say that one more time. Say, so if I'm a, if if I'm hitting you, if I'm coming down here, uh -huh. I'm gonna hit you on my passenger side, right? If you're coming straight down. If I'm coming straight down, I'm gonna hit you on my passenger side. So my yeah. passenger side, I'm gonna hit you. On my okay, passenger. yeah. You, that's, that's gonna be your driver's side, right? His driver's side is hit, but the front of his driver's side got hit. It looked like he was pulling out light, and he just hit her and put her shit over. But if, if he's pulling out, then the front of his car should have been hit, not the rear. Unless he was backing out. Exactly. It had to be either or. Do like, you think he was backing, backing out of that spot? Out and you hit me, or you, you had to put me on my passenger side, you had to hit me. Because if I'm hitting you, I'm uh -huh. going to hit you on my passenger side, and my passenger side is going to be flipped. I'm, I'm, trying, to, I'm trying to digest I'm, I'm, this. So you're saying, you, so say that slowly because you said it so, so fast. If, the, if, the passenger, if I was coming down, uh -huh. I'm gonna hit you on the passenger side. I'm not, the, I'm not gonna flip over to the driver side if I'm, I'm gonna hit you. So if I was to hit you, I would have slammed it to you, and you would have slammed it to these me, other cars. Let me give you a little insight. I, I have took uh -huh. an accident reconstruction course, okay. so I so do. Tell me, tell me so tell usually when a car flips over, over like that, that car ran over the rear tire of that cruiser. That's what caused that. All right, so was the car backing up or was it? It's kind of hard to say. Like, but like, look at how the car's parked right but now. But usually when the car flips over, look at how, look at how the car's staying right there, totaled out right, right there. Look at how the police car is. So I don't know where that car. I see. So how the, was the cruiser parked like that? If the cruiser parked like that, I don't know if they were parked or they were moving. I don't know. But where's your dash cam at? You got That's a dash cam? You gotta get it. Well, no, I can't talk. I don't got one either. <laughs> but know what? We should we should all get one though. But like, look at it. Look at the fucking accident. It should look wild to me. Um, the, the cars flipped over, but the but the police cruiser in the back. It looked like y'all was chasing me. No, it's not. Or what? I don't even know. But see, now what hit these two cars on the side over here? See these two cars that are hit right here? Because you hit me. You in order for me to hit you and uh -huh. me to hit those other cars, you had to hit me. So you think that... So, I can't just hit you and then hit those other cars right on the side of you. I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to like, analyze like, this. I'm trying to... Real. So, so, say that again. So you think the cruiser hit... I can't hit the cruiser and hit the side of the car on the side of the cruiser. I gotta hit one of them. If I'm hitting the cruiser, I'm uh -huh. hitting the cruiser's hitting the other car in front of the car. It's not just a stop complete and I'm gonna swerve back right on the other side and flip over and hit the other cruiser. You have to... Back up or something like I have to be in front of the in front of the back of your car, mm -hmm. and you have to be backing up fast and not paying attention for me to flip over and hit this car for me to hit your car first, though. So you, think, you know what I'm saying? So you think the cruiser like, was backing up? If I smack your shit, you're gonna smack me regardless, right? If I smack you, you're gonna hit me from the side, and I'm gonna flip over and I'm gonna hit these cars. Yeah. I can't hit. I can't hit these cars. Mm -hmm. I can't hit the cruiser. It flipped over and it hit these two other cars. So I got, I got a question for you. Where do you think this cruiser was coming from? Do you think it was I parked it or was, was coming he from? He said it was already parked. By the time he was sitting, I was. He said it was already parked. Yeah, you it was think it was parked right up. here? Probably like I, a parked cruiser parked like that. It's not possible. <laughs> it's not possible. Yeah. Like, I can't hit the cruiser. 
You think a police is trying to get a like that? I don't know. I'm, you, I'm only. I really don't know. Are you recommending the police park the cruiser like that? I don't think it was parked like that. No, okay, I so think it was so. Have to be I think. It, right? I think. I think it might have been further out in the street. It it, it, it had to be further out in the street. It, it's not parked properly. It's not right. properly parked on the sidewalk. Right. So on they the might have. They might have been in the middle of the street. Okay, and she had to be. You know, I, I'm only saying. I don't. I don't know. But no, no, no. they still were hit from the rear. You know what I mean? Like, no, I'm, so I'm trying, trying to figure how they got hit. Yeah, I'm talking about how they, how did the car get flipped over in the first place? That's well, a, that's you, a main addition. usually when a car flips over, it hits another object and flips okay, over. Okay, but on the west side, the passenger side, right? Well, I'm assuming it, it hit on the passenger side because what happened, if, I'm assuming. If I, flipped, if I was coming down the street, uh -huh. right? Gotcha. I'm coming down the street, the car gotta hit me for me to flip over on the driver's side, for you? Mm -hmm. Or, well, if I hit this car, this side, I'm gonna flip over and I'm gonna flip over. Well, normally the side. car that flips over is the car that did the hitting. All right, but I'm gonna do it. If I hit you, then my car flips over. I'm, I'm, I'm saying if, if I did the hitting, yeah. you're gonna flip over on the passenger side or the driver's side. Which side are you gonna flip over? Well, depending on what side you hit the car on. All right, you hit the car on the passenger side. Well, if you hit on the passenger side, side, then you flip over the way you flip like that. Nah. Have you ever seen a car run the right, side of a. If you hit the passenger side, she would have hit from the front, right? It would be the front. Front, front, front right. It, it'd be the front right. Why it looked like he was backing up or, or he was coming out or something or like he was at park right on a simple walk. Well, I don't think he was parked there. I think he was in the middle of the street. He was just in the middle of the street and he just pulled over. He just I don't even over. know. I, I, I don't know. I, I'd be lying to you if I said I knew. I but the only thing I can tell you, when I see a lot of these cars roll over like this, nine times out of ten, they hit another vehicle to flip over. They, don't, they usually don't flip over by themselves. That's All what right. I'm saying. Like a car to flip over. Uh, exactly. I'm just saying, like, if the car can't flip over by, I'm, I'm being real with you too. Uh -huh. I know the motherfucking car can't flip over by itself. That shit's about 300 and something out. Like, something had to hit it or they had to hit something. Right, right. But if I'm saying from me to you, if she hit the passenger, if she hit the driver's side, she would have hit the middle of the door. There would have been a dent right there. Uh huh. Straight to the passenger's, to the driver's side of the. The police cruiser, there would have been something happened to the police cruiser. Each shit happened with the back. It looked like they was probably backing out trying to chase her, maybe. Mm. Or like she came down and they didn't pay attention. It's, it's possible. Like, I don't know the whole thing. But I can tell you this. Um, I don't see any I don't see any skid marks. I don't exactly so I don't see any. Yeah. Oh sorry about that, buddy. I, like I don't know. I, I know this is the speed limit. The speed limit in the city of Boston is 25 miles an hour. You you know that, right? You don't play that. <laughs> and I, I do play that. And, and what I, time is it? I I'm outside at I, I tell you what. I, I cover I, I cover a lot of car accidents, right? Right. A lot of times when I see a car accident, it's, it's speed involved. Now who was speeding? I can't say. But in order for an accident I'm not to even happen. That don't even matter. It's who's in the wrong that matters. If, if the the car that was on up today, uh -huh. today, today. So you up, so you think the cruiser was backing up? They, they don't act like you was just sitting there now. So you think the cruiser was backing up and hit that car? I don't think anything. I'm just saying, like, don't act like y'all was just sitting there now. Cause if y'all was sitting there, she wouldn't have been able to hit y'all. She would have just been coming straight down the street. Y'all had to throw something. Like you had to either move back uh, or move forward. For her to hit I'm you. going to try to play devil advocate. So, even as this cruiser was backing up the street, right? Okay, and, and, you can't back up a one way. That's illegal. No, so that's illegal. Let's just say he I was. Don't care if you got a badge or not. Let's say he was. That shit's illegal. You backing up a one yeah. way? Yeah. Let's say he was backing so up the one way street. You got a badge? Yeah. Your, your shit's but hy hypothetically, like, like, if, he, if he was backing up a one way street, what, what part of his vehicle would hit her car? The back of the car. So, his back would hit her front. Now would it flip the car over like that? You think it would do that to it? If it, if I'm, if I'm or would it just smash into it? I gotta, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you do this. Uh -huh. I gotta back up into the car, so I can't back straight up. I gotta back out, like I gotta back out into the street. Okay, yeah. I can't back straight out, but I'm gonna hit the car in the back. Okay. So if I'm backing out into the street, I could potentially flip the car over on the, on the It's possible, side. yeah. That is possible. It is possible, you're right. Like no, no, that is possible, yeah. Like it definitely 
if, he, if his back and came out, it yeah. It looks like it because the, only the back is fucked up. All no, what? You could be. You could be right. You so, very well could so be if right. So you was backing out and trying to catch me, at the end of the day, you should stop me at the stop sign down here. Uh huh. Trying to hit my car and throw my shit out and back up right here. No, that 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 is that theoretically is possible. Okay. If he backed out and then she she was coming down the so, road. So if, if I'm driving down the street. And I heard you from the passenger side. My passenger side is fucked up. Why ain't the passenger side fucked up? Ain't shit fucked up about the life. That means you was backing up. That means you was backing up. Only the driving airbag is out. That means that you put the fuck over on the yeah, driver's side and the driving person got fucked up. Mm. Is that not right? No, I'm not saying you're wrong. <laughs> she, 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 but she's but I, I can see her pain though. That's her vehicle. That's her transportation. She can't, she can't drive in the morning. So I, I'll be venting too. I feel you, girl. I, I do feel you. I mean, either way, that's your car that's smashed up, and that's not cool. But you know what? That's what that's what the insurance companies can really figure out. Me and you can speculate all day and night. We could talk about we it. We could talk now. about it, yeah. We definitely could talk we about it. We could talk about it. And, and I, I, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now from, from me and you, uh -huh. it looks like that motherfucker is backing up. Because if she would have come down the street at the speed y'all say she was coming out and backed up, that means that she was going to hit the front side of the passenger. Ain't shit going to happen. 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 Now, if he was there, he was right there. He was right he in that said, spot. The boy said he was right there. He was right there. Was he? Was he? Was he, was he in that spot right there? Who? The cruiser. The cruiser. That's the top. No, that's the cruiser they, right they, there. They, they was right there. The whole night. I don't know. I, I when you up. looked out the window, they was right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, but you're telling me, like you're yeah. telling me, mm, the did. front hip toe or not? Nah? Like I, I can tell. Like all right, let me. Let me from me to you. Uh huh. You see the um, front headlight, right? I see it, yeah. You see it's blinking, right? I do see that. You see that shit's bust, right? I do see that too. The back is bust. If the front headlights bust, the fucking front of the driver seat should be bust up too, right? Because I'm crashing into your shit to flip over onto the next shit. My shit should be fucked up on the driver door, and your shit should be fucked up on the, I mean, the passenger door, and your shit should be fucked up on the driver door. Your shit ain't fucked up. The back is fucked up because you was backing up. And you didn't pay attention, and I was coming down the street. And you backed up into my shit and you flipped it over. That's how it looked. Oh, oh, that's not how it looked. That, that can, that can that, happen. That, that, that's that's theoretically going to happen. I think that's how it looked. And I mean, I'm not saying that that I, couldn't I, happen. I, I think that's how it looked. So, based on what you're saying, that that, that very really well could happen. I'm just like, what the fuck, man? What the fuck, man? My story is the best story. So right here, if I hit the car from the front side, the driver's side will be messed up. The back side is messed up because they were backing up, and I was driving down the street. And it like Just so you know, a lot of these cars have black boxes in it. They always get the data off those too. They get the last thirty seconds of uh, data. A lot of a lot of newer cars have black boxes that you're not aware of. But um, I, like I said, yeah, I I don't I don't know. Like I I only really speculate. I don't know the facts because I wasn't here. I gotta get a look at this. But know what to do? Get get as much footage from your neighbors' cameras. As much um, where is the cameras around here? Let me see if there's any cameras around here. She says she was coming down and the cruiser was backing up uh, it's it's possible um anything is possible um let's take a quick look at the other side over here real quick you guys you tell me what you think um the cruisers there's no damage to the front of the cruiser all the damage to the cruiser is in the rear. Now, if this cruiser was parked in this spot, uh, 
was he backing out of this spot? And if he, if he was backing out of this spot, then he got pushed forward to the pole. Now, if he was in the street, he got pushed down into the pole. Um, usually the car with the greater speed is the one that flips over. The slower car usually doesn't flip over. Um, not saying they can't, because they could roll the uh, side of a tire. I've seen cars, what happens is the front of their tire or the rear of their tire can roll the front or rear of another car's tire, causing it to go airborne. I've seen that happen many a times. So if you get too close to a car's wheel well, and your tires roll up on top of that rubber of the other car's tire, your car will flip. You know, it, it will get it high enough in the air to flip over. Matter of fact, I was driving one time and I had a, um, a GMC Jimmy back in the day. And I was riding too close to a car on my right in a secondary lane. And it just so happened that he had ties similar to the ties I had. And I literally rolled up on his tire. The truck went up about three feet in the air and dropped back down. We both, like, nobody got injured, no damage to the vehicle whatsoever, but we both had a learning experience of what could take place. Um, tires similar to this truck tires right there. Similar to those right there. Those, and that's why the, the state law is your tires are not supposed to stick out of your wheel well because of that particular reason. They have a Massachusetts state law. I believe it's a state law. Yeah, your tires are not supposed to extend more than the wheel well itself. That's no, that's the reason why they do that. Like all your tires are supposed to be within the wheel well. Like I said, I don't know what happened, but uh, allegedly there's a lot of people that said that there was a car coming down the hill at a high rate of speed. Now, if that's true or not, I don't know. People people do tend to lie. People don't give all the information correctly, so that's why we say allegedly. So the accident reconstruction team will come out. They will see if the car skid. Um, they will see how much damage they estimated speed was. It, it, those are the professionals. The insurance companies are the professionals. Uh, they have a lot more experience in that than I do. And I'm pretty sure they'll come up with a better idea of what took place here. Um, I'm pretty sure they'll check all the uh, ring doorbells and camera footage. Um, GPS tracking speed, cell phone speed. Um, see, I don't see any cameras in the local area. At least not right now. But just because you don't see them, don't mean they're not there. Uh, there may be a car with a dash cam on that caught some of that. You know, you never know. There's so much stuff that catches on camera now. You, you'd be surprised. Um, Maybe the Boston police had their body cams on when it happened. We never know. There's a lot going on, so we, we don't know until we uh, we sort it all out. So right now, this is what we have. Boston police were involved in a motor vehicle accident on Wellington Hill Street. Allegedly, a uh, car was at a high rate of speed. Not too sure if that's true or not. As far as we know, three police officers were taken to the hospital the driver of this vehicle was taken to the hospital as well. Um, there is a stop sign here, which at, at the end of the street. The speed limit in the city of Boston should no, no be no greater than 25 miles an hour. This is a one-way street, thickly settled area. Uh, at that intersection up there, I'm not too sure if they have a stop sign or not. So it's up to people who, who who can really figure out what took place and go from there. Uh, they figure it out. So I'm going to head up out of here. I might come back for the tow. The tow might not be for several hours. But um, I might come back to you guys later on.
I see some drag marks to where that cruiser got pushed into that area. If you look behind that cruiser, there's some marks behind that cruiser going out into the street. So it's like they might have had their brakes on when they were pushed into that area. I'm not sure though. I can't tell what that is right there. There's like a mark, right? On this side, left or right? Straight, straight in front of us. When he, when he closes that door, you'll see it. I can't tell what that is though. I don't know if it's I a... I think that's just a wet black I don't know. I can't tell if that's a, a, a scuff mark, scratch mark. It's in his back. I don't see anything wrong with the side of the passenger side of the fucking car. It's not the front of the honey buster. Excuse me, can I get the um, toll phone number? The toll people number? So whoever's calling my vehicle, I need their number. Yes, I'll get that. Yeah. Dude, haters are trying to come up with it. Yeah, attitude. Right? I'm just talking to you guys. I'm just talking to you guys. Right behind the black truck. <laughs> no, when, when, when I was on that when I was on that side of the road, I didn't see no damage on that. Can you see it from here though? Um, I have to go on the other side. Hold on. You're yes, so with me too. <laughs> that, that, <laughs> Yo, don't. <laughs> I can't really see from here, but it don't look like any damage over there. Hold on. Ain't nothing even wrong with their car. car. You know what car I'm talking about? The police car. Ain't nothing fucking wrong with it. Got the bad tire. You start with that, that car behind the, cr the truck. Behind the white truck. How did that look? Hold on. Where's the white truck? Oh. You see it? Yeah, that's. Can you take a picture of it? Can't you take a picture of it? Hold on. Hands so where you can hit. Right there. Right here. Yeah. Hit the top one. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be, I'll, Just I'll, let I got me know if they're suing me. I'm going to tell them I was in that car that got flipped over. I'm injured. Me too. The fuck y'all talking about? I, I, I was in that car that got flipped over. I'm hurt. <laughs> let me not say that. <laughs> I smell weed. You regular, regular, huh? <laughs> you say you smell weed? I smell weed. I smell weed. I got some weed, but I don't got time. You've been here doing nothing. You've been here for 45 minutes. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm gonna hang around for the tow truck to show up. Well, they're, they're waiting up at the top of the hill, so they're waiting for the accident reconstruction team to um, finish their photos. Once they finish their photos, I'll try to get the image of them recording, or not recording, towing their vehicles out of here. So, guys, stand by. Guys are clearing out of here. Yeah, they're clearing out. Uh, You're gonna start towing the vehicle out of here shortly. He's gonna pull out as well. You're gonna tow the cruiser first, and then they're gonna flip the. Uh, So the fire department are gonna pull back up. They gotta stand by just in case the um, the car's leaking any uh, fluid or something like that. So they're gonna stand by for that particular reason. They're gonna tow the cruiser first. Look like always open is towing the cruiser. Look like a Kiki towing is gonna be towing the other vehicle. What's going on? How you doing, sir? Yep, no problem. So they're gonna tow the cruiser first, get that out of the way so they can flip the other car over. Nice if they can move that gray car out the way so it could be easy flip, but 
Maybe they can't. Um, you guys tell me, how do you think this accident happened? I think the tow truck is going to come on the other side and probably grab it from this side. It might be easier to flip it from downhill rather than uphill. We'll see what happens. Um, well, you can do it either or, but it's probably easy to do it downhill rather than uphill. So what they're doing now, they're mocking where the car tires were. In case you want to come back at a later date and um, investigate. And that's kind of a key thing to do is mark where the uh, tires are. In the front of the vehicle, the rear of the vehicle. That's, what, that's, that's part of accident reconstruction. You know, he's marking the direction of the vehicle. Um, there's a lot of science in... Um, you know, stuff they use to, to figure that out. She left. She left somewhere. I don't know where she, she went. Ain't no number or nothing. Well, well, she. They told her it's gonna be a Kiki towing, <laughs> and they told her um, to pick up his slip at B B three. That's pretty much all she needs. What car is yours? The, the third car on the right? Mm, that that shouldn't be damaged. The ones on the on the right are. There's a couple cars on the right damaged. I don't think so. I didn't see any damage on it, but it doesn't mean it wasn't hit though. I know the two cars on the right hand side are hit. What's that on the side of the car over there? Oh no, I, I thought that was something else. Okay. Yeah, that's just that just that just spray, that just spray paint. Okay. Well, this is crazy right here. Bro. I ain't never seen a, a, a collision like this on the street. A collision on the street like this. Yeah, usually usually that shouldn't happen. She must have really been flying down that block. Bro. Well, yeah, this girl, oh, she said she, she said the cruiser was backing up, and I'm trying to figure if the cruiser was backing up, then how fast was the car that was behind behind him though? Right, right. Because then he would have got hit from the, the rear. The cruiser ain't doing 40 backing up. Like, I, I would hope not. Nah, we know he. I would, but but. It really ain't like you see the usually this is what I always see. You see the car that flipped over is the car that's speeding. Jolly, jolly one. Uh, I never seen a car that got flipped over that wasn't speeding. Yeah, oh man. But not saying it can't happen, but I mean it could have been dependent on the turn, how she could have seen him coming out. Yeah. Could've, she could have turned and they could have backed, you know what I'm saying? Right. Now, I don't know where the cruiser was at. At the same time, it's, she still had to be at a, a high amount of speed. That's that's what I'm getting at. The you speed is they say the front of your vehicle, if the front of your vehicle hits another vehicle, they assume you're at fault automatically. Right, right. 
Now, if the car was, if the cruiser was back enough, she should have hit the cruiser directly in the rear. She should have hit him straight in the rear, directly front, front and rear, back to back, Miss bang. The Stephanie. The Stephanie. That's part of the light. And you look to see if mine's. I'm behind that white truck on the other side. You see anything on my side? So then um, they got one car out right of here. Now the other tow truck is right at the top of the hill. I believe that's a Kiki towing. Uh, this this is um uh what's that always open? I believe it's always open. So we're gonna see what happens with I always, I always get the tow scenes in there too. Yeah, I, I would have did all that. I would have stopped recording live by this time, but I still would have if my phone was charged, I would have uh -huh. got this. They said when I, I was in the front right there, they trapped us in the front. Oh yeah. And I was arguing with them. And I went to go around back. And when I went to leave around back, back that's when they uh, pulled the girl out. Oh, okay. I just saw that. Yeah, I got, I got here when the um, when that last ambulance was pulling out. And she's... Everything look good? Yeah, you look good. You're fine. Yours too? Yeah, thank you, Jesus. Good. Because what did I tell you? What did I tell you? Be careful there. talking about that. She had a... She had a two times. My two, times I tore up. Two times on the same street? I did. The bad thing is you you guys got allegedly a, a state representative live on the street. What is he doing for the community? Well, no, one thing I will say. After this, uh -huh. I bet you we get these speed bumps now. But, but they should have been had him up there. Shoot, it's crazy. Yeah, I, I, no, he said he, he's a state rep, but he need to do more for y'all community over here. If he lives on the street. We'll see how long it takes him to get speed bumps on this uh, on a city street. So they're gonna flip this car. Well, Boston Fire Department got to get their chalks out of there. The Boston Fire Department standing by until the car is upright. And that's a precautionary measure. They do it all the time because, God forbid, they leave and the car flips over and something happens. They got to come back. So they want to make sure the car is safe and sound before they pull out of here. Those are just to keep the car from rolling. So they're taking the chalks out. Those are basically 4x4s, four you know. They come in handy. I don't know if the tow truck is going to come up the opposite way or what's he going to do. He might come up the opposite way. That one, yeah. <laughs> don't don't put your hands under there. Whatever you do. <laughs> What's going on, my man? <laughs> how you how you feeling, man? I'm cold. I hear you. It's not easy, man. You get you get, you got a tough job out there. No, this one this one. 
Yeah. I guess they could, they could probably flip it right here. There's enough space to flip the car right here. Put the flatbed right there and flip it right onto the flatbed if you have to. Boston Fire Department Engine 52 is standing by. And I think they're out of, where are you guys out of Morton Street? Where are you guys out of Morton Street? Blue Who Have. Okay. Blue Who Have. Oh, they're out of Blue Who Have over there by um, Franklin Field? Is that where it's, maybe that's what it is. I guess that's the closest one too, yeah. I'm thinking they're out of Morton Street over there by, um, the, yeah, that sign probably, is it broken off completely or can, you, can it be moved? It probably could be moved, right? Yeah, I don't want to be moved. Yeah. This is all private property here. I don't know. Is it private property? Oh, uh, just. Mm. Uh, can you? I don't want to. Like, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Do, yeah, do your thing. Yeah, do your thing. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, they, they figured out from there. Yeah, <laughs> hey, you did the best you can, man. You got it out the way. Yeah, I want to so go too. Cr uh, I wouldn't go too crazy with it. Out of the way. Sir, can I have an number, please? Investigate motor vehicle 115 Dale Street. And can I have Bravo Base 7 for a tow, please? Let me take a, take a quick walk around to this vehicle, real quick. Yes, we tell him we're ready for him to go. What's he doing? Just lollygagging over there? Yeah. Tell him, hurry up, man. Tell him you guys got things to do. They say more pictures are better than none. The more pictures you take, the better off you are, right? Yeah, I'm using her phone. Using her phone? And getting the pictures sent to my phone. My phone's is dead right now. There you go. Can't really see with the light on, but let's see what we can see. Maybe get an angle from here, I guess, where it's not so much at the light.
I'm not sure what the tow truck driver is doing up there. He, he, I think he's trying to figure out how to flip the car over. The Boston Fire Department standing by for him, and now he's moving now. He, he might have to go around the, or maybe he could, maybe he could fit through there. I, I would suggest that he goes around the block and back up the street right here and do it that way. But if he backs down the street, that's he can do it that way too. Um, it'd be easy if he just backed up this way and just put the flatbed right here, rolled the car kind of right onto the front of the flatbed. That's what I, I would do. But everybody has a different style and technique. You can't fault them from having their own ways of doing things. He's, he's still up there trying to figure out what he's doing. I don't think he even knows what he's doing at this point. I get maybe he's gonna go down the whole road. I'm not too sure what he's doing. It's one of the um, headlight um, assemblies right there from the the, the uh, cruiser. That's where the uh, tire was, front tire. That's where the other front tire was over there. Obviously, this is where that car was. Obviously, there's a car that was. Right there, in relation to that pole, he's gonna back down the street, so he's backing down. Which I guess you can do that. I I wouldn't do it, but he's gonna do it. I'm trying to get the best angle without being in the way. Let's see if I can get a side angle. I guess.
on her back down, uh, she doesn't know. Black male is 20, it's black jacket, black man. You're gonna put the chalk under one of the wheels so the wheels don't slide. Some people do it, some people don't do it, but it's good to put them down just in case. Sometimes the car will roll down the um, hill. on the other side. But he couldn't pull it to the other side and do it at because if he's on the other end he can definitely do it but now he's too close to the other side of the bed so it's a little harder to do it that way
I might just have the firefighters just flip it while you're there. Just have them all push it over. Make it easier. Hopefully you know that chain still on that on the back of there. Oh, it's off now. And real close to that car. Now he, he can do it now. He, he keep that chain on the other side. He definitely can do it. Tie, it. tie that down so the chain, the car don't pull. Perfectly tied at the lower side of it. There you go. The, the lower side. Chain that to the bottom part of the, uh, the flatbed. They have little holes for that. So just put in one of those holes. There you go. Now get your snatch, snatch block. Redirect and pull. As long as that chain is snug enough, he should be able to pull that with no problem. It's gonna come down at an angle, but it's it's gonna be right in position for the flatbed though. Even though it's you know, because the flatbed's angled in the right direction, so it's gonna fall, you know, just a little bit beyond the flatbed, but it's that's fine. He can pull it over. Snug that chain up a little bit. What's up, man? I think he he might need some help, man. <laughs> he might he might need he, he might need some help. <laughs> I know I know you know how to do it. What up to man? Working hard? Huh? Working hard man? I'm just gonna start. Oh you just, oh, you just came on? Yeah. Oh wow. You missed all the action man. Nah no, I didn't. I was sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> Good to see you.
I want you to turn the wheel.
the debris from the uh, accident. black car was hit it don't look like that well maybe the black car was hit a little bit on the rear yeah he was hit on the rear a little bit back there um take a quick walk over and see what we see it's a pretty good hit That's a pretty good hit. <laughs> so much of a put, so much of a putting your mirrors in. You you hope they don't hit your mirrors. You never expect them to hit your whole car. Alright guys, I'm going to head up out of here. just want to show you what happens when you speed on the city street. Alright guys, be safe out there. He's got the real wrecker and recovery truck. Charlie Delta 20, can you take me up at the uh, Beth Israel Hospital in relation to this 140 Wellington Hill Street call? Yeah. Almost, a, it looks almost like a mini mini rotator. Okay. It's getting cold out there. Right? I'm good, man. Take care, man. All right, take care. Yeah, you guys at the fire on River Street? Yeah, that was me. Yeah, yeah. That was me down there. I'm, I'm everywhere. <laughs> take care. Have a good one. All right. All right, guys. I'm headed out of here. If anything else comes up, I get back to you. You know, people are this. I just want to make sure that if there's any stop sign on this street right here. They should have a stop sign at this. Well, they don't really need a stop sign here, but it it could help by putting a stop sign here. Um, but you don't have to because it's not it's not a street where traffic intersects. So even if the cruiser was coming out, where would the cruiser be coming from out of here? Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Is that a two-way street? Maybe, I don't think that's, I think that's a one-way street, though. I don't know. I'm going to head up out of here. Catch you guys on the next one.